New information tonight on the death of Olympic gold medalist Steve Holcomb. A preliminary report from a New York hospital says he died of pulmonary congestion. News specialist Sean Moody went to Park City today and spoke with some of those people who knew him very well. Olympians make an impact all over the world. There's the one. But it's extra special when the athlete the bronze medal in both the two men and four men is one of your own. Five sleeves, yeah. Stephen Holcomb was a Park City native. It's a heavy load for Park City, Park City High School, Utah Olympic Park. The impact is, is tremendous. Carl Repke has been the bobsled track announcer for several Olympics. He got to know Holcomb that way. It had been decades since Team USA had won a four-man medal. And, and to have him come up to me after and say, I heard your voice. And I took a deep breath and, and I, I felt like I was home back in Park City. Holcomb's influence spread all over. I remember watching them win the gold medal. Christy Copeland is training for the 2018 Winter Olympics in South Korea. I think it's going to be really hard on everybody. She's a bobsled pilot, the same position as Holcomb. In fact, she looked up to him long before she ever knew him. He was kind of like an idol at that point because I just known he'd won a gold medal through the course of like the seven years. Me and him became friends, and it's I'm honored to be friends with someone who was, you know, such a high caliber athlete, but also just like a genuinely really good person. As she preps for 2018, she'll be thinking about it. It's crushing to like see that he he was so accomplished, and that's like what is so cool about him. But like he still had more left to give. And Carl will be thinking about something Holcomb said to him. Not long ago. He gave me a big hug and said, we're on to something here. I, I meddled with you in, in, in Vancouver. I meddled with you in Sochi. Let's meddle again in Korea. In Park City, Sean Moody, KSL 5 News. Thank you, Sean. Funeral arrangements for the 37-year-old Holcomb are pending.